Batman Year One is the animated film based off of the comic book of the same name and was released in 2011. I know I have been reviewing the DC Animated Universe stuff. This is not part of that. This is a standalone film. Uh, comes in around about an hour and four minutes long and I have to say that it feels longer unfortunately. This is not a bad film, it's not a terrible film, there's not a whole lot of Batman in it, it's kind of like the Dark Knight trilogy, there's like 10 minutes of Batman in the whole thing. I mean I'm probably exaggerating but you know, you never know. This is more based on Jim Gordon than it is on Bruce Wayne Batman. Um, it's got some pretty cool moments, it's good to see how Bruce Wayne uh, started out in this iteration of his origin. Um, Brian Cranston is the voice of Jim Gordon, he does a great job, however I have to say that Ben McKenzie uh, the actor from the OC and who plays Commis uh, Commissioner Gordon in the Gotham live action TV series was cast here as Bruce Wayne and Batman and for me personally did not suit at all his voice was not not it for Batman that's like trying to get me to do Batman um, <laughs> it's uh you have to have that voice and unfortunately for me Ben McKenzie is a fantastic actor but I don't think he was the right choice for Batman uh, the animation art style is really good uh, the film is very brutal and very dark in places and uh, you know it's it quite interesting to see Jim Gordon become you know the the, the, the Jim Gordon that we know um, there is obviously a lot of corruption within the police force in Gotham and some criminals and there's uh, no real um, apart from, I, th I think, uh, if I remember rightly, uh, Falcone uh, made an appearance, um, but uh, and Selina Kyle is there as well, and she does become Catwoman, but that's more of a side thing really than it is a main plot. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's got some decent action when it happens. It's not as action packed as the other DC animated films I've seen more recently, and uh, like I said, although it comes in at an hour and four minutes long, it felt like it was about an hour and 45 at times the pacing did kind of drop here and there but when batman was being batman especially when there's like this house fire and when that's happening it's really really good and you know it does kick a lot of ass now there is one small gripe i have is that i know it's all fiction i know you've got to kind of suspend your disbelief but they all want to know who batman is and in this film specifically he gets shot several times surely he'd leave blood and dna and they just dna test and go oh he's uh, this batman guy is bruce wayne um that's a, that's my only gripe it's like the mystery of who batman is would be solved very quickly in the real world um if you're shot and you leave behind dna however uh it's still worth a watch it's still it's still a good film it's not a great film uh by any stretch of the imagination for me personally it's got a very high rotten tomato score at 89 percent but i don't i don't know how this got higher than Justice League War, for example, that one is that one kicks a lot of ass. But Batman Year One is still worth a watch. Let me know in the comments down below if you've checked this one out. And as always, thank you've you very much for well. watching. You've eaten Gotham's wealth, its spirit, but your feast is nearly over. From this moment on, none of you are safe.